Hey, folks, welcome back. And those of you that are new, welcome. From Fox News, Illinois State Senator defends Chicago teens rioting, looting. It's a mass protest. Now, let's check out some videos of the protesting in Chicago, as well as things going on in other parts of the country in the last few days. Now, let's check out some things from Roseville, California. This ought to be interesting. Look at these clowns cleaning out Nike stock. Yeah. Thanks for shopping. Yep, yep, yep. Isn't that amazing? Now, what we're going to show here is a gang of teenagers, young people. Looks like the vast majority black. And I say that because it matters in this case. Because you'll see in the middle there, they're ganging up on this white lady. Now, I don't know what instigated it, but nothing instigates this kind of violence. This, you reap what you sow. This is in, I believe, Chicago. Let's check it out. Now, see her there by the front door? See her there? They're just going to just attack her. Looks like she was trying to escape. It's, it's amazing to me. All of these kids should be in jail. All of them. So what's going on? What's happening? Now, this is the rioting in Chicago that the article is talking about. We're going to go back to the article. And check this out. Now, there's no sound, thankfully. I mean, look at this. Smashing cars. What did they say? There were 15 people arrested? All these people are having an unlawful assembly. They all should be in jail, if not Juvenile Hall or whatever they have in Chicago. And look how the Chicago police has to guard people going to the bus. You reap what you sow. Now, everybody's saying, well... Our society and our culture is falling apart. In part, that's true. But this is just a logical step from the last decade plus of progressive liberal mayors, Democrats all, that have led people out of jail, brought down their sentences from the lady testified today in New York to the congressional hearing from uh, gang murder and second-degree murder on her son, who was a veteran, down to a, a lesser charge, and the guy's going to get out in less than two years for killing her son, cutting him, stabbing him repeatedly, and left him laying on the sidewalk, two people, to bleed out. And what happened after this poor mother was testifying in outrage, and rightfully so. A lot of the Democrats said that those were props for the Republicans. This lady lost her son, and they said she was a prop, and there was more than just her. You probably catch some of the uh, video on YouTube here. You know, it, I'm not saying these people deserve it, but it gets to a point where they just got rid of Lori Lightfoot. So they replaced him with an even more liberal progressive mayor. These people just don't get it. Is this a good thing this is happening? No, but I think it's waking people up. That 10% in the middle or that 10% of Democrats that still vote D no matter what are starting to wake up that this isn't working. Will they hold their nose and vote for Republican mayors and city councils and district attorneys? We'll have to see. Let's watch the rest. I mean, this is amazing to me. Look, 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 it takes four police officers to escort these five people to make sure they're safe to the parking entrance. This is insane. Absolutely insane. And it's happening all over the country. New York, Chicago, Los Angeles. Just teenagers. Look at them. Look at them. 
That is an unlawful assembly. And that's the way that is. So there we go, folks. Illinois State Senator, this is from Chicago, defends Chicago teens rioting, looting. It's a mass protest. Oh, I see how it works. Causing way more damage than the so-called January 6th insurrectionists. And they're still in jail over two years later. And this guy is saying it's okay. He calls teen riot a political act and statement. Oh, boy, I'll tell you, you know, maybe I'm mistaken. These people suck so bad. And, and this is going to continue to get worse and worse and worse and worse until people wake up. Now, I hope it doesn't happen. It, people move out of California and the big cities to come in the suburban and rural areas that they bring their ridiculous progressive mindset with them. They're like a carrier of a virus almost. How does that go? Don't become a missionary when you move out of big cities. Become a refugee. A missionary will spread the word. And the word you spread is progressivism. It's failed. Let's read on. An Illinois State Senator defended the Chicago teen takeover that unfolded Saturday night and left multiple boys shot, claiming it was simply a mass protest against poverty and segregation. I'll bet, because I know New York is, that Chicago is majority a minority. What the hell are you talking about segregation? You just went from a gay black mayor to female to a progressive black male. Uh, what am I missing here? Two th two thirds of the city council is non-white, not three fourths in Chicago. The chief of police, all the way down, all the heads up, and all the police department are all non-white. What's the segregation? You people are insane. Robert Peter, who represents parts of Chicago, responded to the chaotic scene that saw hundreds of local youth smashing car windows, jumping on surrounding vehicles, and firing guns in the streets. Where's the anti-gun people? Uh, wait, I got a suggestion here. Here they are right here. Crickets. Crickets. Rather than condone the chaos, condemn the chaos that left tourists running in fear, Peter suggests it was a mass protest with guns. Since I'm a glutton for punishment, I'm sure I'm going to get the most unhinged crime weirdo replies. See, that's what they think. They think normal people are weirdos. I would like to look at the behavior of young people as a political act and statement, Peter wrote in Twitter post Saturday. It's a mass protest against poverty and segregation. Rest in peace to my mentions. Look at this moron. He'll get reelected, and he'll get reelected, and he'll get reelected. Hundreds of police officers were called to the scene, arresting nine adults and six juveniles in connection with the riot. According to Fox 32, a man was taken to the hospital for being beaten by a group of teenagers after they jumped on and smashed his windshield while he and his wife sat inside. WLS reported a six-year-old boy being shot in the arm, and two teenage boys aged 16 and 17 were also shot in the crowd, according to Fox 32. And there's a picture of a still from the video we saw. Mayor-elect Brendan Johnson, here we go, the progressive who will succeed Lori Lightfoot. You reap what you sow. What are these people going to learn? Rudy Giuliani has a lot of faults, just like Trump. But Giuliani did a hell of a job in the 1980s cleaning up New York. And I think Trump did a hell of a job when he was president. It's not the personality, it's the policies. It is not constructive to demonize youth. Are you kidding me? When I was young, if my father found out, old school Italian, that I was even in the crowd when that was going on and did nothing wrong... I'd get my ass beat. 
just for being there. And we don't want you to demonize the youth. In no way do I condone the destructive activity we saw in the Loop of Lakefront this weekend. It is unacceptable and has no place in our city. However, there's the however. It is not constructive to demonize youth who have otherwise been starved of opportunities in their own communities. You've been Democratic progressive run for decades. Anybody points the blame at problems, it's you. It's you. Deprived of opportunities, the opportunities they're not getting is because of you. It's amazing to me. When are people going to wake up? And I pray, like I said, that these people that move out of the big cities and droves and go in the suburbs and the rural areas, they become refugees and not missionaries. They're going to bring that virus called progressivism into the rural areas. And I'll tell you, I'll just leave it at this. I'm not condoning violence or am I calling for violence? Just wait and see. When you start really, really pushing the envelope on the people that want to be left alone. Then all hell is going to break loose. Do I consider violence a good thing? But nobody should be surprised. No one. This is a very logical conclusion. And it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better. You reap what you sow. How is this going to turn out? It'll eventually burn out in billions in damage. And God knows what kind of, how many people will die, be shot or injured. It, who knows? Just like the, remember the summer of love in 2020. And these morons voted for more of the same. I don't feel sorry for the people anymore. I'll bet you those people that were uh, jumped by the young people, I'll bet you 80 to 90 percent of them voted Democrat in the last election. What's the what's the saying? You do the same thing over and over and over and expect a different result is the definition of insanity. Until next time, goodbye and good luck. Mm-hmm.